Welcome to the Groundwork Resource Library plugin. Using this revolutionary plugin, you can quickly and easily add beautiful, easily navigable resource libraries to your WordPress site. This plugin was originally designed to be used in public education staff development departments, but it could easily be adapted for use in any organization that needs to organize large amounts of resources. As you can see here, we're on a simple WordPress site. This is a, a, a clean install, so there's nothing here except our original Hello World post. And in just a few short minutes, we're going to add a wonderful resource library. To begin, we'll head back to the dashboard. We already have the Groundwork plugin installed, so we'll go to our Manage Sections tab. Groundwork organizes resources like you would organize books on a shelf. So you have books that can contain chapters, that can contain sections, and those sections contain our resources. You don't need all the levels, but we do at least need to start with a book. So we're going to add a new section, and let's say we're collecting resources for Microsoft Office. And because this is a book on the shelf, this isn't a chapter or a section, we need to fill out the additional information. We'll give it a tagline. We'll call this Productivity Tools. And we do need an image. And you can see here as I begin to build my book, I get a live preview of what this will actually look like in my resource library. So we're going to upload an image. We've actually got one here in the library already we can pick, but we could upload original uh, files if we wanted to. And that looks great. And if I wanted this resource library to be available only to members of my WordPress site, I wanted them to log in first, I would check this. But we don't, so we're going to add this section. And we've got our first book. Right now, this book has no chapters and no sections, so we need to add some additional organization. It's as simple as adding just sections. So Microsoft Office, so this would be Word. We'll add this section. We don't need any of this additional information because it's not a book. It'd be PowerPoint. Probably going to do some Excel training. And I'm a big fan of OneNote, so I'm going to include that. And for the sake of this demonstration, we will build out just the PowerPoint area. So let's go ahead and add some sections within the PowerPoint chapter. We would probably have one called Getting Started. Probably resources about starting a new file, uh, opening an existing one, creating a new slide, backgrounds, things like that. And we're definitely, if we're in PowerPoint, we're probably working with a lot of multimedia. So we'll have one called uh, uh, Media. We'll just call it Media. Could be pictures, video. And let's have one more section. Uh, maybe we have a section on Viewing. We'll call it Viewing and Sharing. And this could be saving your file, exporting your file. Lots of different things. All right, so we have all of our possible organizational elements here. And right now, they're all top-level elements, and we don't want that. These are actually all part of Microsoft Office. So we simply grab PowerPoint, and we move it down below Office and to the right a little bit. And you see Office instantly becomes expandable, and PowerPoint is tabbed over. And we'll put Excel over there. We'll put Word over there. But I actually think I want Word to be first, so we'll put Word first. And we said OneNote is part of this, so we'll put OneNote right after PowerPoint but before Excel. Uh, and in PowerPoint, we're going to have Getting Started. And we just simply scoot it over. We're going to have Media. And we're going to have viewing and sharing. That's it. That's all there is to creating a resource book. You simply create your top level book with an image and tagline. You create all of your chapters and sections. 
And once you're done, you simply drag and drop to reorder them and drag them to the right to make them a subsection. If I wanted viewing and sharing to be on its own, I simply scoot it back over to the left and now it's a chapter. Now it's back to being a section. And I can collapse everything to see how my book is actually organized. And the beautiful thing is that once I'm finished, as these grow, if one day PowerPoint contains so much material that it really needs to be its own book, I can simply grab PowerPoint and move it out of the Microsoft Office book. And now PowerPoint is its own resource book and I could further refine its sections. But for now, we'll leave it inside. We'll collapse it all. And that's it for creating our resource sections. In the next video, we'll talk about actually creating the resource tiles themselves.